Welcome to Daydreams of Quilts on YouTube. I'm Anita. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing how we as Etsy sellers can up our customer service game to ensure that we're giving really great five-star customer service. E-Rank recently surveyed some Etsy customers just before Christmas and they asked them questions on a variety of topics. But one of the topics was on sellers communicating with buyers and what types of messages are important to Etsy customers. And if you don't know what E-Rank is, it's a great tool for Etsy sellers. It's erank.com. I'll link to it in the description below. Um, I use this tool like weekly, if not daily. Uh, I have the pro version, but the free version is very robust and you can get a lot done with the, fr with the free version. So make sure you check that out, try it out. And if you like it, you can upgrade to, uh, there's two more levels. The pro's the top level, I think. Okay, so E-Rank asked Etsy customers um, the importance of follow-up messages from Etsy sellers. The first one was, um, a, how important is a message from the seller when we begin making or processing their order? 46.6% said very important. 41.7% said somewhat important. And 11.8% said not that important. And so this is an interesting thing to consider because I have always been relying on Etsy's automated messages that go to the customers um, to send messages. I haven't been sending messages through um, the direct messaging system on Etsy or Etsy convos. So um, this is good actually because we don't get an automated message sent out when we begin processing their order. Uh, so this one would be a good one, I think, to start using. So we can let them know when we started actually working on making their order or packing their order if it's already made. The second question was, um, how important is it to receive a message from the seller when we ship their order? And this is an automated message from Etsy that goes out, but we can also personalize our message and send it in an Etsy convo. 76.9% uh, said this notification from the seller was very important. 20.6% said somewhat important. And 2.5% said that it's not that important to them. We can consider, in addition to Etsy's automated message that goes out when we print a shipping label, or mark an order as complete, we could consider doing our own message to the customer and, you know, personalizing it to them with their name and with our name. So um, I think this is a good idea. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think you would just keep using Etsy's automated message or would you consider adding in your own message? Um, question number three was how important is it to receive a message when there is a delay in their shipment? And 84.4% said very important, 14.7% said somewhat important, and 0.8% said not that important. So this is good data because Etsy doesn't send an automated message when there's a delay in the shipment and Etsy really has no way of knowing if there's a delay in the shipment. So it's good for us as sellers to know that this is very important to customers. And so we could be tracking our orders on whatever postal system we used, or we can use E-Rank's tracking tool. There is a tracking tool on E-Rank um, to keep track of when your orders are delivered. And if we can see in the tracking that there is a delay in the shipment, we can send a message to our customers about it. Um, this was like the most important one, the one with the highest percentage of very important was this question. So uh, that's something to consider adding into our customer service. Question number four was how important is a message from the seller when we notice that their order has arrived? And 48.4% said very important. 38.1% said somewhat important and 13.5% said not that important. And I know I've gotten automated messages from Etsy when my orders have arrived. 
but it might still be a good idea as sellers to show that we're paying attention to what's happening with their package and we're noticing that it's arrived. This might also help cut down on some of the scams that Etsy sellers have been getting hit with where buyers are saying their order shows that it was received but it wasn't received and that opens a whole can of worms with trying to get to the bottom of things. So this could be a proactive way of avoiding that and catching when there's a problem. Sometimes it's legit that the item says it was delivered, but it wasn't. So we can get working on tracking down where that package is. Um, question five was how important is it to receive a message from the seller a few days after delivery to see if everything was okay with their purchase? And 40.5% said very important. 38.5% said somewhat important and 20.9% said not very important. So I'm a little on the fence with this one. On the one hand, you could be opening up a can of worms. If they're not happy, they're possibly going to want to return it. If you don't accept returns, this could become an issue. However, you could also be seeing this as that you're being proactive and catching the problem before the customer leaves a bad review and before they open a case. So, uh, I'm kind of like, I don't know if I want to send this as a separate email or if I'd want to combine it with the, we notice your order has arrived and we hope that you're very happy with your package. So um, I might combine those two into one email instead of waiting a few days after delivery. I'm not sure. What do you think? What are you going to do? Would you put, send out an email a few days after delivery or would you combine it with the message that the order has arrived? I think I probably am going to do the the, the second option where I combine it with the message that the order has arrived. Um, now, if you're stuck on what to write in these messages, I have a business coach named Starla Moore and she's done a video on this as well. So I'm going to link to that in the description below. And she has some swipe files that she gives out for free. So um, you can find the link to the swipe files in her video in the description. So I'll link to that and you can download her swipe files and use those. I'm going to start implementing those into my own business as well. And if you're looking for an Etsy coach, I highly recommend Starla Moore. So um, let me know in the comments all these thoughts on these customer service emails. What do you think? What would you think as a customer? Um, receiving these emails from sellers and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Best of luck selling on Etsy.